Welcome everybody, this is Johnny Shaw's Projects. Today I'm going to show you how to make the coolest ice cream truck made out of popsicle sticks. For this project you need lots of popsicle sticks. I lined them up over this outline of the side of the ice cream truck. This ice cream truck is going to be 22 popsicle sticks long. I drew and cut out the side profile of the truck and numbered it according to how many sticks I'll use for that part. I will cut out over the sticks and trays. Now it's time to cut the outlines. Let's connect the sticks together with another popsicle stick. We will start with the 9 sticks from the back. We need a hot glue gun. Now is the very tricky part since we are going to make a slight opening door. We need to cut in half one of the sticks. And we will glue 8 pieces together. 4 out of 8 are for the door and the remaining 4 are where the door will slide. Note the stick that will hold the 8 pieces should be glued a little lower so the upper part could hold the door. Now we will connect this to the back. Let's connect the remaining sticks now using the same method. This is what it looks like so far. We will connect the top using half sticks. I also put the door together. Let's put it in place. We need to put another stick over the bottom ones. But make sure hot glue doesn't touch the door or where the door slides. I will also add a door handle. Now I can easily slide open the door. So far this is what the side of the truck looks like. Time to build the other side. I will follow the same steps but flip over the outline and do not trace the door. Cut off any extra pieces. Since there is no door here, I glued on a stick to reinforce it and make it stronger. Both sides are almost done. This is what they look like. Let's connect both sides using one popsicle stick. This will also be the width of the truck. Let's connect more sticks between both sides. I do it on the top of the truck and the bottom. I am making a seat for the driver. I also added a passenger seat next to the driver. Now I can cover the front with more sticks. Every ice cream truck needs an ice cream machine. I glued 5 reinforced sticks to a set of 3 in a 90 degree angle and then to another set of 3 on the other side. On half of the machine I glued on 9 sticks cut in half all around. On the other half of the machine 9 smaller stick ends. I also covered any empty spots to make the machine more solid. Glue on the machine. Everything is starting to come together. Next I need a freezer. I do this glue 3 sets of reinforced sticks together and cover the sides. Empty side add a 4th set of reinforced sticks. 
You will fix it on by gluing rubber band pieces. This will give it an opening ability and serve as door hinges. Glue on the freezer onto the truck. I glued half a stick across the top back of the truck. This will serve as a door stopper so that doors don't get pushed in all the way. We lined up enough sticks, measured and cut off the excess. Because we have 11 sticks, an odd number, we must cut one stick down the middle so our two doors have an even amount of sticks. I divide both doors, align them and reinforce them. I will super glue two pieces of rubber bands which will serve as a door hinge, giving it opening and closing ability. I cut a stick so that it fits behind one of the doors and does not overlap the reinforcing. This stick will cover any gaps in the middle and be used to hold the doors in place. I drill the hole on one of the sticks from the back door so that I can screw on one side of a stick. This will make opening and closing the doors neater and easier. I glued on pieces of stick on the opposite side. This will hold the stick in place and make locking easier. I drew a dashboard and glove compartment on a stick and now I will glue it in place. Next step is the steering wheel, which I make by tracing a circle over three reinforced sticks using a bearing compass. I cut it out and smooth the steering wheel using the craft tool. I made this steering wheel support by gluing two sticks together. Then I glued on a piece of a stick at the top where the wheel will be glued on. I used a screw so I can rotate the steering wheel. This is how it looks like. Now I'm adding on the side window also using the rubber bands as window hinges. I use the piece of a stick as window support and another piece to hold the window support in place and then I glued on a window handle to make opening and closing easier. The inside of the window so that the window does not go inside. Time for the wheels! This size looks good for me. I am making circles for the wheels. Now I'm cutting them out. This is how it looks like. I also smooth out the wheels. I love the look of it. Now that all four wheels are ready, I will drill a hole in the center and smooth it out so that the wheels can spin freely. The wheels are all ready. Wow, looks really cool on the truck. Now I'm making smaller circles to put between the wheels and the truck's body so that the wheels do not go more in and also to let them spin freely. It is time to measure the axle sticks. Cut off the excess and glue them under the truck. Now I will put on and glue the smaller circles that we made earlier. These circles will not spin. I will put the wheels after them and will glue other smaller circles on the wheel axles. Make sure glue does not touch the wheels. Here we go. The wheels are working properly. Lastly, I added the side mirrors by gluing two small sticks together and gluing them on the truck. Thank you for watching! Subscribe and stay tuned for our next fun projects! If you guys have any fun project ideas please let us know on our other social medias like Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram. See you next time!